Apparently, not a lot of people know how to use filters in Unreal Engine in general. So just so you know, when you are looking at your content browser in Unreal, you have this little drop down menu here that's called Add Filter. When you drop this down, it's going to be like, look at all this stuff that we can find in our project. So I'm going to go ahead and say I want to filter static meshes. And when you do that, it will show in the root here all the static meshes that exist in the content folder of our project. Now we can just go and find any static mesh that we want. Let's say I want this fence, drag it in. Cool, now we have a fence. Now, it's a little confusing because what if we wanted to access the materials for this in the content browser? Well, the problem with this filter menu that's not very clear is that when you select things that you want to filter, it doesn't really make it clear that you can add more things. And what a lot of people do is they will just go in and reset filters every single time. But what if you need to access that more often? So I'm going to turn on my static mesh and my material again. Let's just turn on a bunch of stuff. Sure. So now I have this little filter menu here. And with this, I can now turn things on and off by just clicking on that. And you can see whether a filter is on or off by this little indication of the little color icon right there. So I can filter by my static meshes, I can find all of my geometry, but what if I want to access all of the materials and find that? Now, what's useful about this is that we are currently in the content root folder, but we can go into our subfolders and it will reduce down our selection based on our folder selection. So I can go to this dreamscape series and now under this dreamscape folder here, we're going to look at all the materials that exist under this folder. We can go to this material folder and huh, for some reason it's not showing my materials there. Why is that? What's going on? What's under materials right here? Foliage. Interesting. So this is all my material inst or materials. And then do we have material instances? Ba, 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 ba. Aha, material instance. There you go. That's something I learned today. So I hope you learned something here as well. So if we go under material under this dreamscape series and turn on material instances, we're going to look at all the instances of this material. But if we turn off the material instance and just look at material, it's not going. So that being said, there's a lot of different filters in Unreal, and this will help you work faster. Please use it because it will help you make stuff faster so you can go do other things like eat food or go to the gym or something. Granted, working in Unreal is quite fun, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, comment section is down there for that as well. And I will leave you with the final tip. The one final tip, as always, eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight, and you'll make some Goodbye, my friends. Bye.